Hey, what's up guys? I'm Hanzo and welcome to another episode of Ultimate Guide in Your Teapot. In this episode, I will teach you a method I've been using for quite a while now, and it is called linking. Linking is a method you can use to connect a furniture to another platform. For example, this tree right here, and this subspace boulder is connected to the floating wooden platform. So if we adjust the height of the wooden platform, the tree and boulder's height will also adjust at the same time. This is very useful when you want to sink a furniture underground. All linked furniture will follow the height, rotation, and movement of the platform you use to connect them. So how do we actually implement this? To start off, you need to know that you can only link the other furniture from using platforms, like these boulders. You can also use these floating platforms as your anchor for linking other furniture. Now to begin, choose and place any platform as your anchor. And place any type of furniture you want to link to your anchor. For this method to work, you need to turn on the toggle of the snap to grid in the settings, on the upper left corner of your screen. Place the furniture above support boulder to start linking. The furniture needs to fit on the boulder for this to work. You can combine boulders to support bigger furniture. Here's the tricky part. Once the furniture is on a boulder, tap that furniture once to select it. Click and hold the left mouse button while the furniture is selected, and do not move or release the button on your mouse. This part is crucial, and moving your mouse even just a bit will move the furniture to that point. Now, while you're holding that furniture, move your camera using the WASD keys on your keyboard. Move it until your mouse pointer is actually pointing on the anchor. It might be a little hard at first because the camera movement has a fixed distance, but zooming in and out using the scroll button also helps adjust the distance of movement. Once your mouse pointer is on the anchor you can release the holding of left click, and click the confirm button. This method also works on mobile and PlayStation. On mobile, simply use your right thumb for holding and left thumb for direction. Please always remember that you cannot link any furniture from the ground. It needs to be placed on a support boulder for the linking to work. There's also an easier way to make the furniture float independently. It involves using the linking method as well, and we don't even have to use the teapot gadget or the snowman to float furniture on lower height. Place a furniture you want to float on a floating platform. Then move the camera to point on any place on the ground to make it float. If we can use the linking method for floating furniture, we can also use this method to sink any furniture you want. In this example, I will try to sink this sand boulder to level with the ground. The maximum height that you can achieve with the floating platform is 30. Any furniture beyond that height can't be placed so please be reminded of this. You can link any mountain boulder directly from the ground to an anchor, unlike linking other furniture that requires a support boulder. After successfully linking the boulder to a floating anchor, you can now adjust the height of the anchor to sink the linked furniture. Once you are happy with the height of the sinked boulder, you can remove the anchor by floating the sinked boulder independently. This time, we need to use the teapot gadget or the snowman to unlink the boulder from the anchor. Place your teapot gadget on any high platform in game, then go back to editing. To start floating synced furniture, move your camera screen to the teapot gadget. 
Then select the synced furniture and align the teapot gadget inside the box of a synced furniture. Click the teapot gadget once to make it float, it will flash red then back to blue. This indicates that the furniture has been successfully floated and has been unlinked to its anchor. Now let's try syncing other furniture using what we learned so far. I want to discuss now about leveling platforms and linking furniture on another linked furniture. By the way you can't link any floating platform to any anchor because they float independently. On leveling platforms, you must always take note of the height of your anchor. Always imagine that all furniture you link to an anchor is on the anchor itself. Did you notice that I can't put another boulder on the linked boulder? It is because of leveling. Simply put that the anchor reach its max height to put another boulder. So if you want to put a boulder on the linked boulder, you have to lower the height of your anchor. To make it simple, you can check the anchor by putting two boulders on top of it and see that the second one is already on red box because of height limit.
Next, you can also link a furniture from an already linked furniture. This time we will use the boulder as the anchor for the bridge, instead of using the floating wooden platform. You might experience a sudden movement of the furniture while holding it for linking. To solve this issue, change your view and adjust the camera to zoom in or out, until the furniture is stable while you're holding it. Always check if the furniture has been successfully linked to the anchor by moving the anchor on your each attempt. Now let's try to see what it looks like in game when we sync this linked furniture by placing a waypoint and teleporting on that location. Looks good so far, we made an underground furniture layout using the linking method. Now let's go back to leveling platforms. What if we want to link a furniture deeper from our actual build? First, you have to pull back the linked furniture above the ground. Then place a boulder on top of your main anchor. This will act as your second anchor for deeper levels of platform. The height difference between your second anchor and the furniture to be linked will be based on how high or low you make the second anchor. Since we can't put another boulder to be linked on the second anchor due to height limitations, we have to lower the height of the main anchor until we are able to place another boulder on the second anchor. Now that we have adjusted the height of the main anchor, we can now put two boulders on top of it. We can proceed back on placing the second anchor and start linking furniture in it. After linking a furniture on the second anchor, place the second anchor back on the ground and link that anchor to your main anchor. However, did you notice that it's red box on this placement even it is still on the allowed area? It's because the furniture linked to that boulder is out of bounds. So carefully plan your placements before doing deeper levels. Now let's test it out and see what it looks like in game. There's the second anchor. And here's the boulder linked to it.
now let's review the final structure of all the linked furniture. And that is how the linking method works. This is the end of the tutorial. Hopefully you learned a thing or two about linking method. Just keep on practicing until you get the gist of it. It will be easier next time around. If you have further questions and concern, just leave your comment down below. Again, this is Hanzo, signing off. See you next time.